गोविंद लीला मृता प्रथा लीला राधा श्रृंगार चैप्टर टू सेवेंटी वन वेन राधिका सुंदर रे मूव्स टू श्रृंगार वेद सीट द सीट वेर राधा इज ड्रेस्ड एंड डेकोरेटेड एंड सीट्स डाउन When a girl becomes a Navakishari, a woman in the fresh flower of youth, Cupid takes advantage to dress her with erotic desires and gestures. Similarly, the skillful Sakis dress and decorate Praneshwari Rai. just befitting the morning time dikka the description of radha shringar extends up to the verse 103 adding to shrimati's appearance is her captivating new youth that further decorates her with 20 bhava lankars beginning with bhava hava and hela the radha prakaran of which valin nilamani chapter 4 tells that radha has 16 items of dress and 12 types of ornaments These items will be described in in the upcoming pages. Back to Govinda Lila Mrita, seventy-two. Lalita Devi uses a special comb made from ivory and inlaid with gems, named Swastida, giving well-being. to comb Radha's hair which has been dried by the scented smoke from burning agar crystals Tika in Krishna Bhavanamrita in another day Sadevi performs this seva the fine part that she makes in Radha's hair appears like the pathway of Cupid. Those who remember this part will vanquish their sin. This part is the heavenly river where the elephant of Krishna's heart constantly bathes. Moreover, the eyes of Radha's companions sail on this river like sailboats. Back to Govinda Lila Mrita, 73. Lalita decorates Radha's hair with bokul flower malas and strands of pearls. Then she ties it into a colorful veni with red silken ribbons which end in tassels. Golden ornaments are set here and there and at the veni's base Lalita carefully places the shamantaka mani. Tika. The Shamantaka money, also known as the Sankachar money, is the bright sun-like jewel that Kovera's servant Sankachar used to wear on his crown. 
It was greatly coveted by Kamsa Maharaj. But one day the evil-minded Sankachura tried to kidnap Brother Rani during Braja's holy Utsava. As he fled, carrying Radha away on her Raja Singhasan, Krishna killed him. Then Krishna gave the Shamantaka money to Balram, who on seeing this unique jewel desired Radha have it. So he gave it to Madhumanga who in turn gave it to Vishaka and she presented it to Radha. When Lalita places this jewel on Radha's head, it appears that a rising sun is shining in the black sky of Radha's hair. If someone should ask, as the sun conquers darkness, why hasn't this Chudamani crown jewel devoured the darkness of Radha's hair? The answer is that the ordinary sun is Timirahari, the destroyer of darkness. Whereas this sun-like jewel is very found after darkness. Therefore Radha's hair embraces it and takes it as, it as its companion. Back to Govinda Lilamrita, 74. Chitrasaki affectionately holds Radha's red kagra or petticoat and ties it around her waist with a thin red silken rope having gold tassels at both ends. Thus Radha's waist becomes the size of a fist. Then Chitra puts on Radha's Chitra puts on Radha's renowned deep blue cloth named Megambara Tika. Chitra Devi is the third Saki within Radha's celebrated Ashta Saki group. She is five months older than Radha. That means she is 14 years, 7 months and 15 days. Chitra's mother is Chachika. Her father's name is Chatur. And her husband is Pitarak. Chitra Devi specializes in clove and malaseva. Her bodily hue is like kumkum and her dress is crystal color. In Gora Lila she appears as Sri Govinda Nandanata Govinda Nandatakura. Back to Govinda Lilamrita, 75. In fascination, Chitra Devi places a golden mekala, a stand of small ringing bells that hang from a belt worn around the waist over Radha's Nitamba. Buttocks. Tying it in place with a golden thread. This colored belt 
is inlaid with jewels that have red, white, blue, yellow and green silken tassels hanging from it. Vishaka prepares a body powder of camphor, aguru, kumkum and chandan. Then she anoints Radha's arms, chest, breast and back with this fragrant mixture. Painting Radha's forehead. Vishaka paints the Kamayantra Tilak on Rai Kishori's forehead. It has a large dot of red kumkum, surrounded by small dots of chandan, and at its base is a large circle of chandan, having a small black spot of kasturi in its center. On both sides of the tilak, Vishaka uses kasturi to paint pictures of leaves that extend to Radha's cheeks. At last a brilliant red line of kumkum is placed between the part in Radha's hair. Tika. Sri Adunandan Thakur says, when Krishna sees this beautiful Kamayantra Tilak, his hair stands erect. erect. Krishna Bhavan Amrita adds, After defeating Uma's husband, Shiva, Radha captured the moon silver from his head and placed it on her forehead. Now Sringaras has personally appeared in the form of this Kamayantra. As Lalita Devi uses Kasturi to paint dolphins on Radha's soft cheeks, she calls out to Cupid, who is also known as Makara Ketan or Makaradvaj, the rider of Makara, Cupid, and says, Hey Kandarpa, come and sit on this asan. Then you'll see that during Rohokeli you will be worshipped by Sri Krishna's red tongue. Lalita then instructs the two dolphin on Radha's cheeks. Oh hey Makar Yugal, when Krishna's dolphin earrings touch you, marry them. As they serve the ears of the killer of Agasura, they destroy all sins and thus your lives will be successful. Cora Premanandeya.